phage purification can be a very difficult process. The idea is to grow a lot of it, isolate it from the bacterial products, and concentrate it so that you can have it in whatever buffer that you choose. One of the very first phages that I purified was HP3. This was a phage that was originally isolated from a goose duck mixture at Herman Park. It's been used multiple times to treat different E. coli infections in patients. Our technician, Geraldo Sanchez, has purified 70 plus phages, which will be used to treat multiple infections in different people. Today, I'm going to take you through how to purify a phage starting from the beginning, starting with a Staph aureus phage, which will be used to treat a Staph aureus infection in a patient. So my first step is to make a plate lysate. I add some already made phage lysate that I had or purified phage to my top auger. In a previous video I showed you how to collect a plaque and make a plate lysate. And to that I add 100 microliters of the bacteria that I want to purify on. I mix it with the top auger and I add it to my bottom auger. The next day your plate should be completely clear like you didn't even add bacteria. Emmeline Heckman is an amazing technician who will be showing us how to recover the phage from the plate. Emmeline is using a sterile cell scraper to scrape off the top auger layer from the plate. This top auger layer should have all the phage that you need to make a plate lysate. I usually use about three plates in order to make a lysate to infect 50 to 100 mil culture. Next, we grow our bacteria to an OD600 of 0.1. To that, we're going to add our phage at an MOI of 1 to 5 and grow for 4 to 5 hours or until clear. Now it's time to take a break. I suggest some stretching, maybe some exercise, and some yoga breathing. It's going to be a long process. So now your culture should look clear, probably more clear than when you first started them. You could add chloroform and clear them up even more. And then we do it again. We grow our cultures to an OD600 of 0 0.1 and we infect it at an MOI of 1 to 5. Now your culture is clear. You could add chloroform and clear it up even more. In all, I made 4 liters of lysate. To that cooled lysate, I'm going to add 30 grams per liter of sodium chloride, so 120 grams to dissolve. Next, I'm going to add 7.5% polyethylene glycol, or 300 grams, to dissolve. Stir overnight in the cold room. The next day you're going to pellet your precipitated phage, which means you have to centrifuge all four liters. Your now pelleted phage will look like streaks on the side of the bottles. Resuspend in phage buffer, then add chloroform. Mix and centrifuge. After centrifugation, collect the top portion above the pellet. Next, I add cesium chloride at 0.75 grams per mil with gentle heated mixing. Your refractometer reading should be at 1.381. Now you can prepare for ultra centrifugation. Now you should have a very bright band. 
that should contain your phage. Very talented technician Kyle Wiesner will show us how he isolates a phage band. First, he pipettes up everything above the band. Then, he pipettes up the phage band, leaving the rest of the cesium chloride buffer behind so as not to dilute the phage. You can then store the phage in a glass vial. 